Tom Barton, BBC Look East, Cambridge. And tomorrow night we're in Peterborough looking at what can be done to tackle littering and fly tipping. Now, from cleaner cars to curing cancer, the new £60 million chemical engineering and biotechnology building was opened at Cambridge University today. The brand new labs mean scientists collaborating from buildings scattered all over the city are finally under one roof. Well, our science correspondent Richard Westcott is there for us this evening. Richard. Well, there's new buildings popping up all over Cambridge all the time, aren't there? Cranebridge was starting to call it in the office, but this one is a little bit different. £60 million officially open today. And it's the amalgamation of two big departments who've been working together in mind but not actually in body. Now they're under the same roof and the whole idea is they actually start chatting to each other and coming up with ideas. And it's the ideas going on in there that are so interesting. So it's things like getting electricity from algae. It's more efficient drug manufacturing. It's different kinds of heart valves they're working on. And they gave me a bit of an insight into some of the other projects going on. If these millimetre long worms stop wriggling, it means they have a problem that's just like early stage brain disease in humans. A drug that gets them wriggling again could also help people in the future. So at the moment we still don't know what triggers Alzheimer's disease and other brain diseases. So we are still trying to figure out that. And that's why we are using the C. elegans worms. In the future we hope that uh, we can test different drugs to cure these diseases. In another lab, different coloured lasers look deep into our skin cells. So Katerina, just to yes. interrupt you quickly, so what <laughs> yeah. are we looking at here? So if you look here, you have some single cells and you see this egg-like shape, which is the nucleus of the cell where the DNA is. Wow. So we're looking at very tiny structures inside a cell. So if you think about that the cell is one-tenth of a hair in diameter, then these structures are really, really tiny. Now you're an expert in viruses, yeah. what, what are you looking for? This is um, a normal cell, so I know then by looking at these images how a normal cell looks like, but if you have a virus, um, that changes quite a lot in the cell, so it's interfering with everything in the cell and we want to see how these structures then change when the virus infects the cell. These magnets are 40 degrees colder than the surface of Pluto. MRI scanning is the best way to look inside things without cutting them open. Here's water dancing through a pipe and gas bubbles travelling up through water. Understanding the way things move helps engineers design everything from more efficient chemical plants to cleaner cars. This is a drug tablet dissolving. And what's really important in the body is that those drugs come out at the right rate because if they come out too quickly you get poisoned by it and if they come out too, clo too slowly they're not effective in your body so understanding how those transfer out of the tablet into your body uh, in a controlled way is really important for looking after your health. Ten years in the making this new 60 million pound building is about putting experts from different areas under one roof. Even across disciplines it's very good because you can come out and chat about your problems that you had in the lab that day, any obstacles that you faced and people that are not necessarily in your discipline can have some really good suggestions actually because they're thinking outside the box. From clean energy to better health, collaborations here could eventually impact all our lives. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Cambridge. Next tonight, they've lost their manager and they might be about to lose their